All right, back with the Opie and Anthony show. Anyone take a look at uh, Mr. T's reality show? No. He's all I over the tube I just want to hear sound clips of it, though. I just want to hear sound. I've, I've seen uh, uh, commercials for it. Yeah. And it looks awful. I I'll bet it's good, though. He helps people. It's I pity the fool. See? And what he does is he goes around and finds people that he pities. And then he but helps not them like, out or what? Yeah, but not like really pathetic, pitiful people. Yeah. Yeah, you all retarded people. Right, it would be. You pity, I pity you. And you're a fool. Yeah. <laughs> you're a fool. I pity the blithering idiot. I pity the photographic embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no. He just goes around and helps people that are, it's like, I kind of might be able to help this guy. But it doesn't sound as catchy as I pity the fool. Right, right. He's got to do the catchphrase. Yeah. On every show. Of course. Hey, fool, sit up and pay attention. This ain't no time to nap. I got work to do. And I'm not going to do it while you lay around like a couch potato. You know what I do to couch potatoes? I mash them up. Now, I ain't no shrink, but I don't shrink away from no challenge neither. Ew. I'm just teaching fools some basic rules. And there's no shortage of fools who need my help. Fools? Just listen to this letter I received the other day. Uh, oh, dear to Mr. T. Listen to the piano. No one wrote him a letter. No, of no course one. not. Oh, my Look God. Look at the letter that I received in 1985. Fools. Eight. I like Dear Mr. Ball. T, my name is Scott Perlstein, and I'm the president of Nemet Motors. I love selling cars, but unfortunately, this dealership is stuck in neutral. Scotty, can you come into my office, please? My father-in-law, Tom Nemet, owns the business, and he drives me crazy. Well, if I go in this car, will it start? Fargo? I know you're busy, but I want you now. And my sales staff? This is not right. I, it's not right. To be honest with you, the sales staff is pretty much asleep at the wheel. I'm not making any money today. Mr. T, we need your help. I got the premise now. I'm going to sell some cars, fool. So then he gets to sell some cars. I said, I'm a car salesman. I pity the fool don't buy this car. It's a good car. I drive fast. Shut up. You won't go on to clear coat on that. You, you don't want to clear coat? Wow. What a weird show. My mission is clear. Fixing the family feud, teaching right from wrong, and what they need the most, some fuel-injected motivation. No I had to get to Nimit Motors fast. Fast? What did he take? Oh, my Does anyone know? Well. He's got to have a gimmick how to get there. He goes, I had to get to Nimit Motors fast. So there's got to be a gimmick. What is he driving? An 18 mobile? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it's uh, a rickshaw. Do you know? Uh-oh. Okay. Let me guess. Hold on. Hold on. It's got to be either... An A-team looking mobile, but because of copyright infringements, it couldn't look exactly like it. It's like Clayton Morris. It's a, it's, it's a big van with sunglasses on it. Is I, that it? I say he dresses up like a superhero. Superhero uh, and walks. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I'm going to say sort of like an A-team van, but not exactly like it. I think it. I know. What? He hops into the lap of a quadriplegic <laughs> and smacks the back of the guy's head while he blows into a straw and tries to propel them forward. <laughs> Faster, fool. Blow harder. I got to get to sell cars. I don't care you hyperventilating. <laughs> Come on, I pity you, fool, but get this thing going. Sam, he I, jogs there in an 80s workout <laughs> suit. Thank God. Fuel I just happened to be right around the corner from the joint. Thank God. My next guess would have been bad. Thank you, oh, Sam. Oh, really? He ties his own feet to the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> Are you insane? All right. Reese Jim. Sam's not black. His ancestor's Thomas Jefferson. He's not black. He doesn't have big lips, just a real big thumb. Well, his skin's kind of weird, it's not black or white. If he's white, then he's dark. If he's black, he's light. Who the hell can figure? Who the hell can figure? If Sam's white or a mm mm. White or a mm mm. Yeah, we tease him, you know. Cause he's white with an afro. Sam's not black. <laughs> he's not black. Don't smoke crack. He ain't black. <laughs> All right, back to the audio. So, uh, workout gear from the 80s. Here he comes. Oh, oh my God. God. Holy. All right, all right, all right. 
glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. When that bell rings, there's another pop in soul, right? That's right. It's time to talk to these people and really get under the hood of Nimit Motors. I'm not here to criticize you. I'm just coming here to help you. We're going to motivate and elevate. Well, I have a question. Why do car sales people have a bad reputation? What's the so reputation? Yeah, this is the problem. Reputation. Customers push us to the edge. Consumers want to offer me $10,000 for a car that I paid $11,000. This is not Sorry, a non-profit organization. We're going to make money. <laughs> Mr. T's not against making money. But something told me this guy might be going a little too far to get it. Boy, Vince, we're going to tangle a little bit. What we want to do here, you know, what? say, hey, man, that's a good guy. He's just not going to try to rip you off and get the sale because if you do that, he's going to come back and haunt you. Hey, woman. Hey, woman. Want you, you want, you want to be with a real man? Why don't you come over to my place? I'll show you what a real man's like. Just start throwing out rocky lines inappropriately to the women at the car dealership. I wonder if when Mr. T walked in, he caused such a to-do that an old Jewish trainer had a heart attack and died on the floor. <laughs> well, now he tries to sell cars for the dealership. I'm going to sell a car. Used car is one of the funniest moments in that movie. There's some big black Frank McRae. Yeah. He's a mechanic, yeah. and he's trying to help sell the car, and the old guy's like... He's like, oh, just go on, look inside. And the guy's like, I don't want to look inside. He's like, oh, it's all roomy and comfy. And the guy's like, I don't want to look inside. And then he opens the door and he pushes him. He goes, oh, just get in the motherfucking car. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is so underrated. Used Cars is one of the fucking funniest movies ever. <laughs> Frank McRae was hilarious. Yep. <laughs> Eddie Murphy's fucking chief. Uh, I called him a nigga. You bet I yeah, did. Yep. That's Frank McRae from 48 Hours. Guy's fucking hilarious. Yeah. You know what they're complaining about now? What now? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That we took the N-word out of that song. We decided it was funnier the other oh. way. I, I actually was... It's much funnier with that. I actually... Don't, I don't even... I, not that that's bad, but there's a better way to do I, it. I, I know. We, 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 we had talked about this. What Definitely happened was, a funnier way. Like, if he's white or... A, what? Like, a, a distraction, and then you come back to it like you're purposefully not missing it. It's funnier without it, because it's too obvious a setup. Yeah. It's, we're not being politically correct, dude. It's funnier this way. That's the only reason. Yeah, who the hell could figure? Who the hell could figure? If he's white or Swedish, or, or Swedish, yeah, th yeah, exactly, or, just, or something that's the that makes no sense at all. Yeah, yeah. but no, this or guy just Egyptian. If he's white or if he's I not, I just like hearing the word. I just like the word. I like saying it. I like hearing it. There's a context for it, my friend, Absolutely. and we, we only use it in the context driving home on the expressway. That's right, or during sporting events. <laughs> 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 huh, you made it back just in time. Huh. Don't take too long in the bear room, fool. I got knowledge to lay down. Bear room? Was it bear room? Did he say bear room? That's, that's, where Steve, Steve, that's, that's where I go to the bathroom. <laughs> does that Steve shit in the bear room? <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> so that I wipe my ass with the rabbit. The bear <laughs> The bear room. One time, I missed and hit myself with a claw. My claw stunk all day, and I was bleeding from the buttocks. I couldn't catch one trout. They were on to me. His, sh his shit claw trolling through the water, picking up nothing but a little sand and some plankton. The trout all know. 50 feet away, they're dodging his claw. Yeah, it's all his shit claw. It's all shit finger. It's like a running joke in the trout school. The little shit fingers coming through. Next time, I need a bigger rabbit. I went to Nimit Motors to motivate car salesmen. So first, I got myself a fancy car salesman suit. Then I got on the phone to some potential customers. Well, I need to do some cold calling. I got to get these people to Nimit. Yes. This is Mr. T. I'm a salesman at Nimit Motors. I was wondering. Wait, wait, where'd you get my number from? Click. Well, we're doing a follow up call, ma'am. I am in the shower, okay? Oh, I'm slow. I didn't know, ma'am. I'm just a salesman. Hello, Mr. B. I am Mr. T. I'm a salesman at Nimit Motors. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you think? Oh, You're just going to cold call oh, someone Jones? that needs a car? This is Mr. T. Dumb way to do got a things. Big sale coming up. And we want to know if you're interested in coming down, looking at some of our models, and we can make a good deal for you. How about this, Hello? stupid? Stop saying you're Mr. T and looking for fucking recognition. Yeah. And just do it as a sales guy. Hey, Mr. T, oh, the guy, the guy. You think that's going to work? No. Even better. Uh, I'm Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh. Even better, those are fake calls. <laughs> yeah. You can hear the fake, fake calls set up by the, the TV show. All fake. I'm in the shower. 
I can make a good deal for you. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no. Rocco, uh, Turns out cold calling is hard. But up close and personal, I knew I could make a sale. The music you? is fucking awful. Bah, 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 bah. That's yo, the wacky, yo, yo, goofy yo. music. It's hard. How are you? How are you? Well, we're looking to get into another ultimate. Well, you come to the right place. I'm, a, I'm Mr. T, and I'm going to be at your service. Is the mileage good on this as it was on the other one? It's good. It's good. What about trunk space? I'm glad you asked that. I'm going to show you how big it is. I'm going to get in the trunk myself. Hey there. See how big it is? Suffocation. I'm back with it. I wanted to add something else to two of <laughs> I'm gonna show you how roomy that bilge is. <laughs> I'm gonna get right in here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, Jimmy's a bad boy. <laughs> oh. God. If I wanted to add something extra to it, like a navigation system, I can get that added. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's why, that's why we call the car dealers, you know, because we can deal. That's my style, my approach, you know. I'm not going to try to crowd you and try to trick you or nothing like that. I like you your mean? sincerity. That's my style. My word is my honor. Shut up. My word is my honor. Where is it? Great. Fake reality. Word should be canceled. Great. This is completely fabricated. Oh, wow. Everything to do with it is What station? Fabricated. Which car are you looking for? Which, which vehicle is it? 2006 Ultima. Okay. Best I can do on that is 27295. This. This, Mr. T. Look, you know, I told him I would take care of it. What'd you tell the customers, Mr. T? I told him we would treat him right. Well, we'll definitely treat him right. I just need a number so I can work with. I was thinking more closer to 24. 22. I very much respect the offer at 22. I just can't take off $4,000. Uh, that, that's yes, impossible. Yes, you can. But yes, you, when you say the... that you can't go no lower than 26, you know, I know you can, man. You know, then plus, most importantly, I, I gave the people my word. You know, I said I would give them a good deal. And to me, that don't seem like a good deal. Let's you know, I'm, I'm ready to work. You Let's know. do this. All right, all Tell right. Me something. What are you looking to spend? The, the car The car is 26 3 what All are right. You now, 33 off. That's just 35 bucks. That's chump change. We won't even talk about that $35. So you want me to take off $35 right off the bat? $35? You're going to lose a deal with $35? But you can't just come off and say, take off $35, Mr. T. Yeah, we hustle about $35? Man, my lunch is $35. I'm, your lunch is not mine. If I don't make money, I'm going to have that $35 meal, Mr. T. I'm not going to have that meal. It's chump change. I was talking, but this wasn't listening. And because of that, I was going to lose this sale. How to beat his ass. I want to find whoever signed off on this. <laughs> and I want to break into his home. And I want to kill his family. <laughs> And Lucky Louie is off the air. I was going to say, and they cancel Lucky Louie. <laughs> and this hunk of shit. He stinks, and I don't like him. <laughs> that does have to drive you nuts. Oh, oh, that has to just steam you. Dude, it, it's 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 like watching Lexington Steel fuck your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. If you just tune in, what's wrong with you, fool? Show me some respect and watch my show from the beginning. You guys have a goal in 48 hours to do 20 cars, all right? As of now, we got eight written. Eight out of 20? That's only a third. And third rounds with turd. That's bad. Eight out of 20 is yeah. not a third. <laughs> that's, the wrong, that's the wrong crap. figure. And guess what? <laughs> <laughs> it was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. <laughs> yeah. What are you, a fucking moron? <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh, that is the third. Really? Rhyme with turd. Is it in you? Oh, yeah. Is it in you? All right, 12 more cars. 12 more cars. It was time to hit the nitrous, burn the rubber, put the pedal to the metal, and get in the passing lane. How we feel? Then we gonna get there, man? Yeah, hey, yeah, yo, come yeah, on, man. Help yeah, your yeah. brother out, dig it, man. Cool, man. Hey, that's right, man. We gonna sell, baby. Sell, man. We gonna sell. That's right. We were pulling out all the stops. Everyone was pulling their weight. 
and we were pulling for each other. I called my wife. She's calling her mom to buy a car. Basically, there was a lot of pulling going on. And just as we were about to run out of time, something amazing happened. Hey, where are the white women? We made our final sale. Like yeah. I always say, him. you can't spell success without T. <laughs> 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 the man told me to turn around. He was going to look at my teeth. <laughs> Made our final sale. The wooden gavel came down, and it was over. And then, uh, actually, he uh, asked for a job, and they turned him down, so yeah, he got yeah. mad. You don't want to hire niggas, that's all. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Yeah, well. Oh, Mr. T. Mr. T. What are you doing? How the mighty have fallen. This is how he closes the show. Helping people gives me a real sense of accomplishment. And I like to express That's that feeling in rhyme and verse. Oh, good. I came to Nimitz Motors down in New York City, a place full of cars and foods to really... pity. Oh. Problem after problem, a messy situation. The biggest of them all, a lack of motivation. T took care of business, and the others played their parts, not just selling cars, but touching people's hearts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Uh, touching people's hearts. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you die, if yours is used as an implant. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's a great show. That's on TV land. Who's he helping besides every wow. other network? Uh, <laughs> I think it got good reviews too. That's it couldn't have. Part. Yeah, I it, think so. Who, who besides Linda Stacy in the Post? No kidding. It was probably her. It's fun. Oh, there you go. Good luck, bro. We don't need to take a peek at that anymore. Can I have a copy that I have to watch it when I get home? I saw a crappy show on TV and figured they needed help, so I went over there and realized, holy shit, it's my show. <laughs> How can I help, Mr. T? I am Mr. T. So I shot myself. <laughs> Let's go to Charlie in Jersey. Hey, Charlie. But that just made me mad. <laughs> Charlie. The, the only thing better. 20 biplanes to take me down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I jumped all over you. Charlie, go ahead. Charlie, they took my 80. thumb. Charlie, what's up? <laughs> in 1983, there was a cartoon, Mr. T. The only thing better than this. He, was, he owned a gym where he trained gymnasts, and he would help them solve crimes and uh, solve mysteries. Oh, really? Yeah. There was a Mr. T cartoon. Yeah, yeah I don't remember, yeah, I remember that. that one. Stay in school. Stay off the drug. All right, let's go to Kevin. Hey, Kevin. I need work. <laughs> hey. Yes, Kevin. Please please tell me that's a fucking joke. No, sir. I'd love to be able to, but no. You hear oh, some, my God. You hear some of this stuff, you think it's like an SNL skit or something. That is the... The acting is awful. They're trying to make it make believe it's a reality show. What's Face and Hannibal doing? All right, let's go to Danielle in Texas. Danielle. Yeah, what's up? Hey, Danielle. Yeah, this this Mr. T thing is not not even right. I I want to kill myself. <laughs> I thought it was a great thing he's doing, trying to help people sell cars. Yeah, yeah. And I guess wonderful. every week he has a different problem. Yeah, right? it's a different thing he solved. <clears throat> Wanda Sykes was doing something like this called. Uh, on Comedy Central, I forget, it was about Wanda goes to work. Whatever it was called, like Wanda would go oh, and do your job. right. Mm -hmm. She'd go there, washing dishes or something. I remember seeing that. Washing, washing. W wash. Let's say hi to Bobby. Two. Bobby, what's up? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, hey listen, I learned today on the show that uh, if you back up that tape, you can't spell success without a T. Is that what he said? Yeah, back it up. You guys stepped right over it. It was hysterical. I was falling down. Success without a T. Oh, well. <laughs> See you later, boys. All right. Mm. Okay. Uh, focus.